Do you find yourself waking up with that feeling of disappointment, another night of no eBay sales? You're working as hard as you possibly can, but you just can't seem to get the results. Well, you're not alone. And the good news is there's a change that you can make to your eBay business right now that will have a positive effect on getting those overnight sales. And no, there's no magical switch that you could just turn on in your eBay seller hub. That'd be nice. Rather, the secret to more sales is to actually focus on your sell-through rate percentage. And if you don't know what that refers to, it's basically how long does it take for your item to sell from the moment that you list it. So there's multiple ways that we can increase this percentage and what even is the best percentage? We're gonna have a look at that in this video today. The first way that we can do it though is to buy items that actually go on to sell. And fortunately, I've had a really good sell-through rate percentage this weekend and I'm gonna show you some of these items that are moving on eBay right now. Let's dive into the first category, the DVDs. All right, guys, so having a look at the media, we've done pretty well this weekend in this category. I love selling my media. It just seems to do really well for me on a consistent basis. The Sopranos, get this, guys, because no matter how I found it, in any form of season, it's gone on to sell. So seasons five and six here is a bit of a mini bundle. We've got $27.95 for that, which I thought was pretty impressive. Uh, the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, that's an out-of-print copy. So uh, a little bit rare. We got $24.50 for that one, which I thought was excellent. Uh, Get Smart Season 5. You would have seen me pick this guy up on Thursday's trip to the thrift episode. Sold in just a couple of days. Uh, got an $18 sale price there. Uh, Queen sold in the space of just 24 hours, guys. If you can find Queen... Typically does really well, $17.50 there. A couple of really cheap ones there for basically around the $10, $10 to $12, uh, but still consistent movers in the store. Uh, as for the video games, I'm, I'm doing quite a bit of the video games now, as you know, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, we got for $24.50. We got the same amount there for Ratchet & Clank, Up Your Arsenal. Ratchet & Clank just always sells fast. And then Mr. Bean as well for $15. So video games, I'm always doing $15 and up, and that's exactly what you're seeing there. We also had this win as well. This is always a fast sell through rate. We've got the Guitar Hero guitar here for the PlayStation 3. I found this in an op shop for $16. It's come with these two games as well, Guitar Hero 5 and Guitar Hero Metallica. This as a bundle without the dongle, which is the little connector piece that connects it to the actual console. Uh, we got $75 without the dongle. So I was really happy with that sale. You can normally, when it has the dongle, sell it for about 150. Uh, so to get 75 off a $16 purchase to round out a pretty good weekend in media. I was really happy with the four sales that we had come through in the shoe section. You might've remembered me picking up these in a trip to the thrift just on Thursday, a couple of days ago. These are the Echo Gore-Tex men's hiking boots. And I picked them up for 20 bucks. I actually bought two pairs of the same shoe for $20. And these have ended up going on to sell for $81 in the space of just 48 hours. So a super quick sell through rate, a really good pair of shoe, and always look out for Gore-Tex because it just means that it's really high quality. Uh, the next one that I've got for you here is uh, again, another trip to the thrift pickup. It was the uh, Puma King men's footy boots. I think I bought these about two weeks ago. These are a really good pair of shoes and they ended up selling for $70. Again, excellent condition. I only paid the $8 for them in the thrift. And the other one here that I've got for you is a very common shoe that we all know and love. It's the Adidas Ultra Boosts. I don't normally like to pick up the white variant because they typically get dirty in the thrift and they take a while to clean up. So I don't normally buy them, but these, as you can see, are in excellent condition. We got an $80 sale price on the Adidas Ultra Boost. So they were a really good one. And then this one as well, I've only just started to do over the last few months, but it's doing really well for me. We've got the brand Sketches, and I'm always looking for this padded insole because that's where the value lies in the brand of Sketches. So pick these up for a few bucks in the thrift and they've ended up selling for a pretty quick $40 as well. So four pairs of shoes, some pretty good results. All right, let's have a look at the clothing section now, guys. We've had a total of six sales come through. So the first one here is this Billabong Pipe Masters tee. I've sold this one for $20. Had a really nice back print on it, so that's why I went ahead with the purchase. But to be honest with you, I'm not making too much money on that, and I have stopped buying uh, this sort of thing in the thrift. I've got this one here as well. This was really cool, size large, um, Blues Rugby Union training singlet. Uh, we've got a $15 sale price plus $30 worth of international postage. So it'll only cost 20 to send it to Canada. So that ends up being a $25 sale price. Uh, we've got 25 bucks for this one as well, this ratty old Bosch. 
uh, motor racing hat. Um, look, this one's probably going to go into somebody's man cave. They're not actually going to wear it. So do consider other different options that people may buy items. So I was always happy to pick that one up for a dollar when I saw it in a local garage sale. We've got this one here as well, RM Williams, 38 regular uh, waist, and that one sold for $42.50. You can always rely on RM Williams. And then we've got these as well, just two very much bread and butter items that are consistent movers. Rhythm in the board shorts, always pick those up. That was eight into 25. And then we've got the Nike Performance uh, golf shorts as well, $28 for the black stripe. So six what I would call bread and butter winners in the clothing department that are consistently moving for me. Now, these next four sales are pretty random, so I'm just gonna run you through it right now. The first one I've got for you here is Slam and Samu, the vintage street sharks. I've sold probably 10 out of 24 that I picked up off Gold Coast Picker just a couple of weeks ago. They're all selling internationally, which is brilliant because I'm picking up extra revenue. This one here sold for $90 plus $20 worth of international postage off to Mexico. Um, so he was a really cool little sale. Also got this one here as well. We've got Bugs Bunny now. This one was actually bought out of my local post office. It's a bit of retail arbitrage. Picked him up for 20 bucks in the local post office and I ended up selling it for $65 on eBay. Granted, it will cost me about 20 bucks to ship off, so I'm actually gonna probably only make about 10 to $15 on it, but I always love doing retail arbitrage. It always feels a little bit sneaky. Uh, the next one that I've got for you as well is a very opportunistic purchase in an op shop just a, well, about a, uh, actually about a month ago now. Uh, it, was, it was a little while. Um, we've got the Verb 66 stainless steel iron. Can't say I've ever sold an iron before, but it walked in as a donation and I said, how much is that gonna be? And she said 10 bucks. Went ahead with the purchase, sold it for $55. Um, not too bad. Probably get this one off for about $15, I think, worth of postage. Um, so again, I'm probably only making about $15, maybe even $20. But uh, an iron. Who would have thought that I'd be selling irons on eBay at this point in my life? Um, this one as well, I've got this one here for you. Now, this is um, picked up in yesterday's flea market run. We've got the uh, number 23 Indigenous All-Stars. This is Benny Barber, I've been told, from the viewers of the channel. Um, I had a lot of viewers of the channel as well message me saying that they wanted it. Um, Michael was the winner in the end, and we ended up cutting a deal of 50 bucks for this guy. So, Michael, this one's coming off to you, and uh, yeah, appreciate your support of the channel. important step there guys sell through rate percentage comes down to selling items that aren't desirable out in the public and hopefully those items today can be uh, some confidence for you to go out and try and find those items i think another couple of really good steps to take for your sell through rate to increase would be to just when you're out sourcing for the item to just do a little bit of a search around how many of them are actually selling. It's not always about the price, it's also about the quantity. An example of that would be if you've got 50 items available for purchase and only two of them have sold on eBay in the last uh, 90 days, then I would not go ahead and buy that item. But on the reverse, if there's 50 and 200 sold, then that, no matter what that sale price is, I'm still gonna be buying that item to sell because I just, I just know it will. So that's another really important step. Make sure you're doing a filtered sold search on the eBay app for a particular item that you might wanna go ahead and purchase. Just make sure it is actually selling. The other one as well is to just focus on a couple of different niches. I, I don't think a jack of all trades is the best way to go with an eBay store. I think it's really good to just focus on maybe three to four. For me at the moment, 40% of my purchasing is around video games and DVDs. The next 40% is around shoes, both men's and women's, and really heavily running, running shoe based. Um, football shoes, sport based. Um, and then the other one as well for 10% would be clothing. So I'm really heavily dominant in two categories and I'm just trying to master those categories buy really profitable items and buy them with a really good sell through rate percentage before I purchase. So there are a couple of really key uh, tips there as well. Niches are very, very important. And the other one as well is you wanna be focusing on a higher average sale price. This is something that I've really focused on over the last 30 days. And it's timely that I'll show you this as well. This is my 31 day calendar. Um, now I'm on a target of 5,475 listings for the year and we've just ticked over January of this year. So I've got another 11 months to go, but things are going along really well. If you have a look down here, these are my goals for the year. So I'm actually trying to do 15 listings a day and I really want them to be high quality items with a really good sell through rate to hopefully get my revenue target of $140,000. This year, so far, 31 days in, my sell through rate I'm aiming for is 65%. I'm currently sitting on 68%. That is dividing the number of sales, 232, by 343 items that I was able to list. The issue that I've had so far this year is that I've only listed 11 items per day 
for the 31 days. So it doesn't mean I'm on track for 140,000. It means that I've done $10,000 in revenue. And because I've only done 11 listings, it's generated a 68% sell through rate and I'm on track for 120,000 in revenue. So I am a little bit behind, but it's very nice to see on the listings that I am doing, I'm getting a really strong and healthy sell through rate percentage. The other one as well is the ASP. I really wanna increase my ASP and I'm targeting $40 of an average sale price this year and so far this year I'm on $42. So I really think this accountability calendar is a great way to help with that sell through rate percentage as well. Focus on some high value items that you're picking up, knowing that they're going to go on to sell for by doing some prior research and then making sure that, well, I don't need to say it, but you're listing consistently every single day because none of this happens if you don't list your items up on a pretty much a daily basis, I would say. So let me know in the comments below, do you even focus on sell through rate? Is that even something that you're bothering with at the moment? Do you think it's important? Do you not think it's something to worry about? I'd love to get the conversation started in the comments below. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video guys. Uh, a few items that have gone on to sell, things are ticking along really well on this side of the fence. Hope it is for you too. And uh, I look forward to catching you in the next video, which will be a trip to the thrift on Thursday. I'll leave you with the trips of the thrift right here actually, because this was a fun episode. We'll see you soon.